here in the uh, space station flight control room, all the activity is going well, and the team monitoring space station system. Elsewhere, the team is starting to turn their focus to the uh, tomorrow's launch of Orion in Florida. NASA's new Orion spacecraft is less than 24 hours away from its launch. It's set to lift off at 7.05 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, and my colleague Brandy Dean is there with Orion mission planning and analysis lead Najud Morancy to get an update. Thanks, Nicole. We are uh, less than uh, 24 hours, I think about 21 hours away from launch now, and uh, people are certainly starting to show up, including the team that's supporting Orion, which includes Najud Morancy. Thanks so much for making time to talk with us, Najud. Absolutely. Love to be here. Well, so as, as part of the team, what can you tell us about the, the sense of uh, excitement? Are people getting pretty... I think excited. everyone's incredibly excited. I mean, we used to count this uh, launch away in years and then months and days, and now we're literally in hours to launch. Yeah, it's a good time to be in, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, as you said, we've been working on Orion for quite a while now. What, what did we start out with the intention of creating? Uh, we started out with creating a vehicle that could do a lot of missions, and the primary purpose is to get the crew safely to and from orbit. I mean, this is the vehicle that is there for the crew, um, you need more to do exploration, but the primary purpose, the first building block, is that crew safety uh, for entry and ascent. So Orion is what gets the astronauts into space and, and then back home safely. Um, the flight tomorrow won't have people on it, but would you say that we have done what we set out to do with this uh, spacecraft? Yes, uh, we have a very capable spacecraft, and, and it's by no means complete. We're not flying crew. This is the first test flight, so there's still more to do, but this is well on the way to getting crew to flight in, in the future. Well, what will this test show us? Uh, this test will show us uh, a few things. First, that we could build it. Uh, the first part, the hardest part is putting it together and to begin check. with. Yes, <laughs> check, done on that one. Uh, but then we'll have lots of instrumentation, so we'll be collecting data on all of the systems from structures to thermal systems. And uh, the other primary thing is the whole re-entry heat shield. I mean, this is, you can't fully test the heat shield on the ground, so this is the only way to do it, as well as the entire entry, descent, and landing sequence for the parachutes. So end to end, we're getting a ton of data out of this for those future vehicles. I read about, um I was told about 1,200 sensors on Orion that we're going to be collecting data? Yes, we have like 1,200 sensors, and that's just the additional sensors. We also have plenty of sensors that are a normal part of the vehicle, so you have plenty of operational equipment that the computers record plus the extra sensors added for the flight. All right. Well, um, what exactly will you be doing tomorrow when, when Orion lifts off? So tomorrow I will be in the engineering support room that's here at KSC. Uh, we'll be supporting the flight control team and the launch team throughout the whole uh, prep and flight. Uh, so we represent all the engineers and the real technical experts. Uh, we'll be monitoring the systems and in particular I'll be on the Orion system timeline console which will monitor the whole automated sequencing, the computer controlled timeline, which is ac executing the jettison events and the triggers for all the other subsystems to operate. So that's what I'll be doing throughout the flight. Well, let me ask, um, so analysis is part of your, part of your title. Mm -hmm. Will you be doing a lot of that when Orion comes back? Uh, a lot of the analysis I've already started is for the next flights. Oh, okay. So the subsystem designers will be taking this data to improve their models for next time. Uh, all of that will then feed into the, the integrated analysis we're doing for what the Orion will be capable of uh, in the future, what the constraints will be, how we operate it, all of that. So all of it will eventually flow into what I'm doing, but really we're already starting to work on the next flight. Okay. What exactly would you say you're most excited about seeing tomorrow? Uh, so my biggest excitement, having formerly been on the space station program for a long time, was you see the, the very small curve in the Earth uh, from the camera in low Earth orbit, and I am really excited to see what the Earth looks like from our apogee at 3,600 miles uh, with just that far out big picture of how far we've gone and what you see of the Earth from there. It should be a different view, right? Absolutely. Well, real quick, uh, tell us the 3,600 miles. Why are we going out that far? Uh, we're going to 3,600 miles because it's as far as the Delta IV Heavy can get us. Uh, we're using every bit of performance on the rocket to get the highest entry speed we can to test the heat shield. So it, if we could go farther, we probably would have, but that's what we can do on the rocket, and so that's what we're pushing it to, to get us there. And, and going farther gets us... Uh, or allows us to come back in faster, which right. makes it hotter as we go through the Earth's atmosphere. Right. The farther you can get, the higher the speed will be, the higher the speed you need to get out, which is the same speed you'll have then coming back in, and we'll come in as steep as we can and get up to 20,000 miles per hour to test that heat shield out. 
And then after that, we splash down. You mentioned we'll be testing out the parachute system as well. Yep. So at a, a gentle 20 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of slowing down to do with those parachutes, right? And very quickly. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it, uh, it'll definitely be something to see tomorrow. The uh, coverage here on NASA TV will start at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, then we'll be with uh, live coverage all the way through Splashdown. So we're hoping for good weather. It's looking pretty good, I think. Um, uh, I think the, it's up to like 70% probable. So. Yeah, so, and, and uh, we will hear more about that in the upcoming uh, uh, pre-launch briefing as well. But we'll get all of those details to you. And then, of course, as I said, be sure and tune in tomorrow. Watch us here on NASA TV as Orion lifts off on its historic first flight test.